We were just talking about the eye, so let's talk some more about the eye. This is a diagram of your eyeball. Your eyeball, you have an optic nerve which translates all the information from your eyeball to your brain. Your brain interprets it. You have the retina. This is where the light runs into the backside here, and your brain interprets the rods and cones, all that information. I want to specifically talk about this, the lens, and this right here, the ciliary muscle, which is attached to the lens. The lens is what the light goes through. Do me a favor, cover one eye. With your eye covered, look at something far away and focus on it. And then look at something close and focus on that. And notice that you can actually change the focal length of your lens. You can focus on things that are close. You can focus on things that are far away. You actually do this with both eyes open, but it's easier to see with your, one of your eyes closed. Now, what you do when you are doing that is you are actually changing the focal length of your lens by changing the shape of your lens by pulling on your lens with your ciliary muscle. Your ciliary muscle actually changes the shape of the lens and therefore changes the focal length of your lens. Now, this is great when it works, but unfortunately for some of us, it doesn't work all the time. Some of us have to wear glasses. Some of us are myopic or hyperopic, suffer from myopia or hyperopia. Some of us are nearsighted or farsighted. I am myopic, not in brain, but in sight. Myopic in that I can see things well that are close, but I can't see things that are far away. So I don't actually have to wear these when I'm in class because I can see everything that's in the room fine. But when I drive, I do need to wear these so I can see stuff that is far away. So what your lenses do is they change the range in which your um, eyeball can focus so that you can focus stuff on the backside of your retina. That is myopia and hyperopia. There's also something called presbyopia. Okay, Presbyterian. Ever, anyone ever heard the term Presbyterian? We have some Presbyterians in the room. What does the word mean, Presbyterian? It's okay, I grew up Presbyterian. I don't know, I didn't know what it meant either. Um, it means specifically ruled by the elders. That's what Presbyterian means. You are ruled by the elders that you can make the decisions. There are also terms called presbyopia and presbycusis. Presbycusis means old ears. Presbyopia class means old eyes. You can hope one day to suffer from presbyopia because one day you will be older and you will suffer from presbyopia. As you get older, no matter what you do, your lens, David, wait for me, your lens loses its ability to change shape. And therefore, everyone, as you get older, will need reading glasses because you can't change the shape of your lens enough with the ciliary muscles. You just can't do it. Lastly, the concept of astigmatism. Raise your hand if you have an astigmatism. Wow, I think it's catching. I, in previous years, I've only had uh, one or two in every class. And so far, I've had at least five. I had one, ten, uh, my first hour, I had ten. What does it mean to have an astigmatism? Your eyeball is perfectly Your eyeball. So we have an issue with your, the shape of your eyeball. Rather than being shaped as a sphere, your eyeball is shaped more like a football. It's squished, unfortunately. And what happens here is that the focal length on one plane versus the focal length on another plane are different. So what they have to do is they have to create glasses where the focal length is different on one plane than it is on another, which is fine for glasses because glasses move with your head but it's an issue with contacts, because contacts actually move around. And it wasn't until probably the last five years or something like that where we were actually able to have glass or contacts where you have an astigmatism. Anybody have an astigmatism and have contacts? Okay, how do they work? They're weighted. They're actually weighted. <laughs> They're weighted on the bottom such that they will orient themselves correctly. If you, if you blink, they might get out of whack and then they'll reorient themselves by having the weight go to the bottom. This is especially fun, I've been told, if you then take and lie down, tip your head to the side, because then it will orient itself the wrong way, and therefore you can't see at all, correct? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's always interesting to know how the, all these things work. Ladies and gentlemen, people, thank you very much for learning with me today. I'm going to learn with you.